Hi everyone, Nina here with a quick fun simple card. Today I'm going to use the Honeybee Stamps Beehive Stamp Set. I'll be stamping all the images that are included in the set. They're all so cute and fun. I will be using my Misty to stamp them using a Copic friendly ink. You will find it linked down below in the description section with all the other materials that we are going to use today. We will quickly color the images with uh, different shades from uh, Copic colors mainly two shades and then I'm going to add a third one for the beehive itself. I'm just including this part in the beehive because I want you to take care that I'm putting a line not only on the sides and also a line beneath each of the rings. So you can see I'm putting on the sides and also on top beneath each ring of the, uh, the beehive. And then I'm going to use very light um, teal colors, the BG family. To give the wings some fun and transparent look then i also have my uh, coordinating and this is how it looks all colored and i happen to have the coordinating dies for this set so i'm going to use them position them where they should be also the fun thing um, and the cute thing is that they also include a die for the opening of the middle of the beehive so I'm going to just attach everything with the washi tape to make sure that it doesn't move when I'm running it through my die cutting machine. Then I'm going to use my Big Shot and die cut all the uh, images. Just very slowly and carefully removing the washi tapes so it doesn't cut my images after all the coloring we've done here is the behind and i'm gonna do the same thing for all the bees it's so cute then i will be doing some inking i'm going to use a very light shade of blue that is the tumbled glass and i'm very lightly gonna ink the corner just behind the beehive I put foam tape that I'm gonna later uh, double the foam tape it's one layer here but later I'm gonna remove the backing and double the layers can you see the dimension that I gave and then I colored uh, the hole the part that I put behind the hole with also a dark uh, burnt brown from copper colors then I when I was assembling my uh, images and then I realized that I could use the trails that is included in the stamp set beneath each of the uh, bees as if it's coming from outside of the scene. It looks so cute. Here I doubled the foam tape and I returned back the back of the window and I'm going to directly attach it to the Card with glue. Then I am going to put a tiny bit of uh, foam tape behind all the bees. To give a, va a variant dimension. So behind the bees it's only one uh, layer of the foam tape. And behind the beehives there are two layers of the foam tape just to give variety of dimension and I'm just placing each bee where its trail is and this cute bee I find that so cute to be in front of the the window or the door of the beehive and for a variety of dimension I just added a single layer of uh, cardstock behind this bee so it is not that raised like the other bees just for a variety of dimension this is how they all look like they're so cute such a cute uh, stamp set i'm then going to uh, stamp my sentiment which is going to be uh, reading be happy with the b b double e and I'm using fossilized amber for the word happy and black for the word bee. 
just making sure that it's positioned currently behind, below the bee and then I'm stamping. I'm then going to use my uh, white gel pen and I'm going to add some touches here and there on the beehive. Oh, I'm going to cut the background first, then I'm going to do the white gel pen. So this is sort of a blue turquoise a cardstock that I'm going to attach directly to the card. The card already has dimensions, so we're not going to add full tape. Just a tape runner. We're going to position it. It's just a very thin rim around the card. And here is the part where I add my white gel pen. These shiny little details make the card and the images pop more and give sort of give life to the card. So whatever I think it might reflect the light from the side. Then as I as always I love my enamel dots and I'm going to add uh, colors that are similar to the behind yellow and orange just next to the sentiment and some of them next to the beehive. This is the final touch. And here is the card all done. How cute are the images and the coloring is so pretty. I had so much fun creating this card with you guys today. I hope you did too. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!